little bit close to Pinkham Thomas because I'm from Philadelphia. And I remember his early fights in the 80s where he was up and coming. I used to sneak over to Fraser's gym and peek inside the ring and watch Pinkham Thomas fight. And I was like, boy, he had a great jab. He might be a future champion one day. Lo and behold, 1985, he became the champion of the world. 1984, yeah. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a great moment in time, you know, I prepared it. Uh, Joe Frazier's gym, matter of fact. That's right, Joe Frazier. Uh, yeah, I got ready for the fight. And, um, hey, man, just did a number. And, uh, you know, I had my first, my day, not my TV debut here right. in Atlantic City, City. At the boardwalk, I think it was. That's right. Um, uh, Tex Cobb had tendonitis in his elbow, and I had to fill in on the 18-hour notice. How about that? Yeah. Mike Tyson paid you the biggest compliment. He said of all the title defenses that he fought, he feared you the most because of your big jab. He thought he'd have the most trouble with you. And actually, his fight went the longest with your fight. Yeah, Mike was uh, knocking everybody out at that time. And believe, behold, I was in uh, California. I was training with Scrap Iron Johnson. Right. And um, about six weeks into the fight, like, me and uh, Mark Wills exchanged uh, right hands. and. It broke my shoulder. I didn't know it was broke. Wow. And um, so I, Angelo, I called Angelo. I told Angelo, he said, man, you know, you need to pull out. And I said, I ain't pulling out. I said, you know, I'm just going to let you know what's happening. And uh, I couldn't say nothing to Don. So went all the way down to it, went to L.A. three weeks before the fight. I was preparing when my arm popped out. Angelo put me on something else. And then um, went into the fight. And... Um, you know, what happens, a lot of people seen the fight and they, hide, they show the highlights of the first and second round, and then they show the knockout. But you know, actually, the fight didn't go like that. That's right. You know, the fight went uh, six, seven, six rounds. Now, and, Pinky, uh, do you have any words of encouragement for the young ones out there, the young kids about boxing? Oh, are you kidding me, man? Even, even, it, ain't even, it ain't even about boxing. I mean, it's about boxing, but I call all the kids champ. No matter what, I'm going to call them a champ because I want them to be a champ in anything they do, whether they want to be a doctor, lawyer, or Indian chief. It don't matter to me. No, I want them to see them work hard and do the best that they can do and be the best that they can be. And don't take no for an answer and don't listen to negativity. Pinklin Thomas, Joe Lewis, Michael Moore, three heavyweight champions from Michigan. Hey, man, you know Michigan's a, a, a boxing town. And hanging out with my buddy James Tony, you know, I love him too, you know. So, I mean, like, yeah, so, uh, Tommy Hearn, uh, we got a good breed to come out of Detroit. Right. The heavyweight champion of the world, Pinklin Thomas. Pinklin, thanks for coming Thank with you, us. Thank you, man. Appreciate